Welcome to the channel everybody. This is Hardware Despair. My name is Ryan and today we are playing Card Survival Tropical Island. Here we are in the jungle once again and it is rainy. It's beautiful out. Let's see here. We take a little sip of water. Uh, we're wet. Everything's fine. Actually, we are literally like the happiest we've been in ages. So things are going great. We've got plenty of food. What we don't have are flint slabs. We desperately need flint slabs. And as much as I'd like to go to the volcano, oh, our gas mask is completely out. I don't know how to repair it. That's a problem we've had. Um, I haven't figured that out. I might have to look it up just to figure it out. We're going to keep it on us, though. It's still there. It didn't like deteriorate right away. So that gives me hope that I can repair it eventually but instead of going to the volcano which has been kind of a disappointment i mean we found obsidian there which is great but no flint so i what we think what i think i want to do is head to the highlands now we've got two options there we can go to the western or the eastern now we'll get to the west let's let's go to the western first let's check it out i think i've explored this area though completely yeah this one's a hundred percent explored we got the hole here where there's copper. We haven't dealt much with that. We've got lemongrass, which now I know we can actually uh, crush that up and cook it to make like some sort of citronella and make candles out of, which is cool. We don't have bees yet, though. I don't know where bees are. We haven't discovered any bees, but uh, I think there's bees around. Now, we could also continue on to the eastern highlands, which, as far as I remember, is not fully explored. So I think that's what I want to do. I want to check, the, you know, try and explore the newer areas. Yeah, we haven't even touched this area, have we? And maybe I'm hoping there'll be some flint slabs here. We'll see. I don't know for sure. I know the Highlands have some, but you know what? I'm realizing real quick, I need to put my clothes on. Yeah, it's actually too cold for me right now. Put that shirt on. There we go. I took them off because we constantly overheat and stuff, but uh, right now we needs it. We need it. So let's uh, let's keep exploring. Okay, okay, just some wood. So far, nothing great, but we're <laughs> we're gonna be persistent here. Oh, we're gonna need her. Oh, oh man, might fail, might succeed. Ah, <laughs> oh, this could end the playthrough though. This looks like a cobra. It is. A, it's a spitting cobra. Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me! Wow. I don't know. Should we? We don't need the food. Let's retreat. We're not here for cobras and stuff. Maybe I would have got an achievement or something, but it's not worth the whole playthrough. You know, what happens if it hits us? I don't have any way to treat that. Okay, well, it's over now. Let's go ahead and eat our bird meat. Uh, maybe rest for 15 minutes and then keep exploring. Okay, so far the Eastern Highlands have been kind of a disappointment, but everything is a disappointment these days. Oh, we're getting some wood. <gasps> copper. Oh, flint slab, flint, and a copper ore all in one trip. And I was just saying it's a disappointment. You've got to be kidding. That's insane. That is the greatest thing of all time. Oh, yeah, we should be definitely feeling fine now. All right, we're not done here. We're going to keep going. Oh, <gasps> another flint slab. I don't even care about this cobra now. We're, we good. We good. We stealthed away from it. So this is a dangerous place, though, isn't it? Wowzers. Um, I bet if we set up some log traps here, we could catch some of those cobras and not have to worry about fighting them. So what did we get? Two flint slabs? Oh, boy. That's a lot. All right. Uh, I'm going to take the copper ore just because. But um, wowzers. That's awesome. I think it's time to head home. Yeah, this is this is a quite a load here, but it's still manageable. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the jungle. Okay, well, we made it. I Actually, it's later than I'd like, but um, I did stop off, and I went to the deep jungle because I knew there would be mangoes there. Let me drop these things in the hut real quick. And I picked up some coffee beans, as you can see. I have not messed with these at all, so we could eat them, use them to make seeds. I We're going to spend some time doing this. I think I'm going to go inside first and warm up a bit, though. But I also grabbed some mangoes. So we got four mangoes here. The monkey's doing fine. He needs a little... Uh, oh. Uh, he needs a little bit of water, but I've fed him, so he's okay. All right, speaking of water, we're good. Now it's time to go inside. I don't know about the coffee beans. I just grabbed a whole bunch of them. I'm going to stick them in the cooler pot for now. 
Um, but we will process them. Put the mangoes in there too. There we go. Beautiful. Let's get the fire started here. I'm trying to use these hand drills up since they're so low. <clears throat> All right, good to go. Let's see. We've got a little bit of time. We are exhausted. Uh, we're not really sleepy. We're just tired. So we don't want to do anything too strenuous at this point, like beat our drum or anything. But uh, let's see here. We got one carrot skin. That's good. We need a few more, though, in order to finish off the floors. That's kind of what we've been working on. But uh, let's see. I could probably make some cordage. I don't think that's too strenuous. Let's see here. No, that actually... Re oh, it did actually bring it up a little bit, so we got to watch that. Mm, all right. No worries. No worries. We can just go to bed anyway. It's getting pretty late. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Well, another skin popped up during the night. Let me extinguish that. Um, we're, ooh, we need to eat for sure. Big time. He's real hungry. Grab that fat and a mango. Oops. There we go. Let's finish off the, or take a big old bite of that fat. He's, I'm still straining to get his weight up. So, oh, he's sick of eating meat, but that's okay. We're going to alternate between that and the mangoes anyway. That's why I got him. Also, I think, let's grab this. I do want to test this out, see what we have to do to actually make coffee. Uh, maybe we can do a whole bunch. Plus, not to mention, we can make some axes again since we got some flint slabs. That's awesome. So we'll do that too. I'm not going to actually fill any of these just yet, but I do want to set them up. We're going to make two of them for sure. Good to go. Uh, the copper, I think I have copper somewhere else. Is it in the chest? Yeah, there's some right there. All right, you know what? Actually, I'm saving the boar tusk. I'm getting rid of some of these bones. I have just a ridiculous amount of bones here. So that's what we need to ditch, I think. All right, there we go. Throw all the way. Now, let's test this out. So harvest beans, 15 minutes. Let's go. Coffee berry pulp. It's edible. The most popular coffee plants can be found in... Harvest the berries and extract beans from them. Then roast the beans directly and soak them in hot water and breathe. Oh, okay. So harvest their berries and extract the beans from them. Roast the beans directly on the fire or soak them in hot water to brew yourself some nice and stimulate. Oh, so we can roast the beans and then soak them. All right. There's the beans. I should roast them first if I want to make coffee. That's pretty simple. I thought it was going to, for some reason, I was assuming it'd be like a, a long process or something. I don't know. Um, let's just hold this for a second. How's the monk? Does he need something? Yeah, there you go, buddy. How's that taste? <laughs> he liked it. That yeah, made him happy. Of course it did. All right, so we're, once again, good on food. Um, once you process the beans, it looks like, yeah, they become, they have no durability loss. So I'm going to go ahead and spend some time doing that this morning, I think, real quick. Oh, second, uh, for a second, though, I want to check this out. Oh, man, we are one away. It's not quite done, but, man, oh, man, so many skins. I should probably go out there and set those traps, too, you know? Let's see, what do we have? Oh, man, should I use the mangoes for that? Oof, we need the mangoes, though. You know what? There's a banana tree out there. I'll do that instead because those traps were out of, all, yeah, we are pretty much out of meat except for the fat technically, but that stuff will last forever. So I should work on that too. All right, I got a lot of stuff to do. Let me, let me get through with it. I'm going to do the beans first, then we'll set the traps. Oh boy, here we go. So as soon as I stepped outside, I haven't even touched the traps yet, but we got a monk. Let's go. Come on. Oh, it managed to bite me. No. That's okay. We got Ash Bandage. He's ours. I'm going to drop him off in the shed. Let's hurry up and get... And that's going to hurt our happiness so bad. Oh, please don't go down all the way. Oh, we've been working so hard to get that up. All right. We throw the thing on there. I tell you what, we'll also get some Kava. That has medicinal, like, uh, pain-killing properties. So we'll do that. Take a little drink there. Oh, man. It's worth it, though. It's still worth it. Um, let's see. Where's the Kava? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I don't even know if I should spend the time rearming the traps. Well, there's only one that two that need to be rearmed. And here's what I was thinking. I don't need to waste uh bananas on these things. I can just use the coffee berry pulp that I just harvested. So there you go. Uh well, at least it's only minor pain it says. So that's good. The ash bandage should keep it from getting too much more infected. So hopefully to we won't need to travel to get aloe. But uh, let's duck inside and actually make some kava. And uh, hey, possibly some coffee too. Sounds good. You know what? Actually, 
All right, let's go ahead and set these up. We've got the time. We lose a little bit of happiness. We can just get it right back up eventually. Okay, put the coffee. This will help, too, because I can get this out of my inventory. There we go. Beautiful. All right, now we can go back inside. Make some kava, make some coffee. It'll be delicious. All right. Well, I've got the fire going so that we can get the uh, water uh, boiled here. So let's put four of these yep let's put four of them on the stove there we go that's for the coffee now i did make the kava already so we're just going to drink that beautiful now i've set up two glazed vases here i emptied those out that's what we use to make the coconut shells fill the coconut shells so now i'm going to store some of this away drink some tomorrow and stuff it's not a whole lot but uh, there we go we got one full container of kava that's beautiful and we drank some so that should help with the pain make it go away now let's look here we need okay 21 minutes and i've got the beans on me here whatever we have left of that we're going to put in the gl glazed vase let's eat our little mango all right good to go uh i guess we'll make some string here while we wait for the coffee okay the boiling water's done let's take that out don't forget we got that monkey too i have to process him we're gonna spend most of the day here in the oh well, okay what's it doing why is it not working I should, oh crud, I forgot a step. Oh no, I needed to roast the beans first. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is, obviously. <laughs> that's what it's literally telling me. 18 minutes, well, we just might have to boil the water again. Shoot, shoot, shoot. That's okay, should I pour it in here though? Yeah, we'll pour it in here so it doesn't evaporate in that short time. But uh, I guess I'll just butcher this up. Yeah, that's probably the best move. There we go. Okay, those are roasted now. Can we just put them in the water? No, I bet you it's got to be boiling now. Let's read it. Let's read it. Add hot water. Voila, coffee. Okay, not the end of the world. We can uh, we can take care of that. Let me get it set up again. All right. This time I think we've got it. So let's take those out. Uh, now let's move, mix them together. It is kind of a a bit of a process to make this, but it's good. It's good. Now we've got it. Now I don't think this will matter if it gets cold or whatever, obviously. So let's take a drink. Oh yeah, coconut shells empty. Beautiful. Yep, I'm sure that helped us a lot. So, well, like I said, we're going to store the rest of this here in this glazed uh, pot. Beautiful. So we've got kava and coffee. The only thing better is if we had even more of it, you know. I guess I can extinguish this. Oh, you know what? Actually, hold on. No, let's go ahead and roast the rest of these. See, how long does that take? 30 minutes? Um, wait, crap, I forgot. Do they, does it make them, like, susceptible to rotting if I do that? Oh, well, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Get some cordage here while we wait. Beautiful, I've got nine. Oh, another thing, too. As soon as those are roasted, here's what we're going to do. I've got everything ready for the next expansion of the uh, floors, so uh, get ready for that. Let's actually check on the monkey. Okay, this is doing okay. No more infection yet. Uh, he needs a little water. But uh, real quick. Okay, good. No, no. See, there's no durability on here still. So we can use these at any time in the future. Just got to prepare some water. All right, very good, very good. Okay, time for the floors. Oh, man, I can't believe it's taken this long. <laughs> That's just a lot of stuff. Okay, so we just need another needle. We got the cordage, surprisingly, and the cured skin. Let's see how many we got. There's one. I've got one there. So, yeah, our traps, hopefully they'll start to produce. I'm sure they will. They've been great so far. Really reliable. Fantastic. So, um, in fact, let me duck outside. Just check on those. Maybe get a little drink. We're getting it kind of hot. Well, no traps so far. We've got all four ready to go. I think four is a good number. More than that would be like a little bit too labor intensive, you know, to like try and reset all of them in a day or something would be a little ridiculous, but uh, that's okay. Let's get some wood while we're out here. No, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to chop a bit of wood before it gets too dark. Did our axe break? Yeah, let me put it in my inventory for a second. We do have some, remember, don't forget, we've got the flint axes. Got to make those here shortly, but uh, that's what this stone axe is good for, really. It's just collecting firewood. 
All right. Well, we had a pretty late night, but it was uneventful. I mean, our ha I haven't had a nightmare in forever, so that's incredible. Um, now, I do want to watch it because he's getting real sick of eating meat. So I don't want him to start puking and getting nauseous because that'll definitely lower his happiness. So we're going to eat the last of the mangoes here for the morning breakfast. Beautiful. How's the monkey? He's all right. He needs a little bit of stuff, but we'll be fine. Um, put the fire out. I'm going to keep the fat around so he doesn't starve, obviously. But things are going great here. I went ahead, like I said, I had a late night. I went ahead and spent the night getting everything ready for these so we can finish these off here in the morning. Beautiful. Now we're going to have two fresh, awesome flint axes. Beautiful. Now... I'm going to use one of them right now to go cut down a tree. I think we might have to actually search for the tree, though, first. So, Because, uh, yeah, this wooden utensils, that'll basically complete the, the structure. I mean, there's still a lot of work to do, and I'm sure there's upgrades that I haven't discovered yet. But right now, this is we got a table, a chair, a bookshelf. That's another thing. I need to go like looking in some tide pools or find some geodes and start decorating our bookshelf with more goodies. Let me know in the comments what else I can uh, use to decorate that sucker with. Because you can see our shelf is, oh, our shelf's doing good. We've got Weston, a calcite crystal, the captain's up here, some coral. I could probably go diving for more coral. That'd be cool. But uh, yeah, anyway, so let's pop outside here. I think we're ready to take a little bath and take a drink. Oh, hey, and check out the macaw. There we go. So one out of three isn't bad. But uh, I would hey, I would have liked two, three out of three. Uh, but no worries, we got ourselves a monkey. Let me dispatch him real quick. And I think I am going to take the time to deploy these. Yeah, very good. Let me grab the bananas for, we'll use that for some bait and also for probably an early lunch. Let's see, so I'll just toss him in the shed for now. And I've got to bait some more traps real quick. Or, yeah, get them all set up real quick. Okay, traps are all done. Now, good news is that our uh, bite just healed. So we have no more wound left. I'm going to put the bandage away. Monkey's doing good. I just gave him a banana. We've got a large tree out here. So, oh, you know what? Actually, we need to rest. I'm glad I noticed that. Yeah, I shouldn't push it. Let's wash. We're going to rest for 15 minutes. Beautiful. All right, we're back to normal. I think we can at least probably do one round on this tree, but I'm going to watch it. Really trying to nurse his happiness back up, you know, so I don't want to push him too much. Let's eat a banana. Let's eat two of them. Get the calorie count up. Okay, we can probably hit another tree. Beautiful. Let's let's go uh, drink and wash up. Plenty of water. Oops. Plenty of water, so there's no reason not to, you know. Good. All right, let's uh, let's finish this off with the stone axe. I think I'll drop the flint axe out here since we've got so many of them now. That's cool. Okay, so the log is good to go. Let's see here. Um, it's still pretty early. Real quick, let me grab some more of this. Always need more snake grass, you know. You never have too much of that stuff. It never goes bad, so it's like, <laughs> grab it. All right, let's pop back into the shed now. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm thinking with this log, we're going to split it. We're not making log uh, boards. We're just going to make, uh, what's it called, two two halves of it. A stump or whatever. Where is it? Did I, oh, did I just leave it? I brought sticks instead. Oh, my gosh. Okay, bada boom. We've got it. I've got the half log here. Um, we've still got some daylight left. So, boom, check it out. We are ready to go. Flint axe broke. That was the old one. That was the old one. So that was expected. I had put that there earlier. Hey, buggy bug. Well, those are going to be for your breakfast, mister. Um, let's see here. Oh, we've got a skin finished. Let's uh, let's put that in place. Oh, is it? no, no, I'm sorry. It says flesh, not cured. I'm sorry. My bad. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, crud. I just noticed. Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. We need to keep this thing watered. What am I doing here? Poor macaw meat. The fat's going bad before it needs to. All right. Well, we caught it, so we're good. Now, let's see here. What do we need next? A big stone. It, what? Interesting. Why do we need that, I wonder? Ugh. Also, we don't have a sharp knife. Are you kidding me? Really? Wow, I've been using a lot. 
I wonder, there's no other recipes though, so huh, I'm gonna have to make some out of flint. Well, let me get that blueprint set up. Beautiful. There we go, nice. Okay, so at least we can fill that. I don't know about the stone. I know there's all over the island, but uh, I'll have to find them. Anyway, let's see here. We gotta get the fire going, so let me do that. I'll probably just get the fire going, process this meat, and head to bed. Well, with that, you know, with that McCall meat that we've got, I'd kind of like to go make some skewers out of it, and I'm going to need the uh, chilies for that. So, since we don't have any stone, big stones out here, which we also need for recipe, I guess we'll go to the grasslands and check things out there. Maybe we can get some chili peppers, and hopefully there's a stone out there. We'll see. Yep, boom, heavy stone. All right, I'm going to put that away so I don't forget about it. Um, it does, I think it wears you out more carrying it around. Oh, good. We found one right away. Perfect. Now, I would like another pair. Let's see if we can't explore a little bit more and find some more. Okay, not yet. Just a little bit more. It's still very early. Ooh, getting a lot of lemongrass here. Oh, boo. Ain't nothing but poo poo. All right, I'm going to have to break at least, no matter what. Yeah, we're getting overheated. It's time to head home. Well, we got lucky. We got two. It's all the cooking pots I have anyway. Oh, look at that. We got another monkey. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, well, I've got to cool down first, monkey. You're just going to have to hold on. Wait your turn, sir. Oh, you know what, too? I'm just remembering. I've got all my clothes on. See how easy it is to overheat? So I'm going to have to take these off here. Um... Let me do, 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 I got a lot of stuff here. Let's put that inside. I'll go ahead and feed this to the monkey if he's hungry. Nah, not yet. We're really sick of bananas though, so I don't want to really eat it. Just drop those off. All right, we're good. And take that off. Roll it up, put it into our backpack. I love the backpack, by the way. It is such a great thing and holds so much stuff in it. Um, all right, so time to get rid of the monkey. Remember, too, we've got a second one of these already in the hut. These traps, I'm telling you, incredible. Can't can't brag about them enough. All right, there we go. Bada boom. Oh, this one's been re uh, triggered. Ooh, my guy needs to eat. Shoot. All right, time to get some more bananas. And that's it. Now we're going inside. We're going to cook up some monkey skewers. Okay. Well, I was wrong. There's actually only one monkey in here. Uh, the other one we've already cooked up. Or cut up, I should say. Uh, but uh, if you look, see, we've got four pieces of meat already. Plus the guy that's laying on the ground. Um, so, yeah. There we go. We are ready to go here. Let's build this one. And let's fill and build. Kind of letting him get real hungry here. Just because, you know. Uh, he is, uh, I guess I'll grab this fat and eat it. I'm really trying to preserve his weight, so I shouldn't play around with that. But this is good to go. Let's put these on the fire and start it up. Here we go. All right, now I'm going to need to make another bow drill, too. While I'm thinking about that, I'm literally going to just throw that up there real quick. Perfect. Just a long stick, which we've got outside. All right, so there's that. Let's see. In fact, in 27 minutes... Oh, an hour and 45. Not yet. Not yet. We'll get there. Um, I don't want to burn anything. Let's go outside and I'll grab a long stick. See how long it takes to make a bow drill. All right. Bow drill's only 45. Let's do it. Now, I wonder, because he is very sick of eating meat, does this, like, affect that, you know? So, let's see here. Sick of eating meat. Probably didn't help. Oh, yeah. That definitely affected it. Yep, yep. So, the McCoskey is obviously their meat, so... But um, I'm hoping that still had a good effect on his happiness. Oh, he's getting pretty lonely. Let's pet the little boy. He needs some water. Hold your horses there. We can't starve our little guy or dehydrate him. He's going to uh, bite me next time I try and pet him. There we go. Much better. All right. So everything is pretty well set here. We've got the macaw skewers. And as much as he hates the meat, I mean, we've still got to, you know, we've still got to eat that. I guess I could throw it in here for now, but uh, he's just too picky, man. He doesn't like bananas. He's getting sick of meat. Jeez Louise, bro. 
What else do you want here? Well, I think it's actually time for a little bit of wine for the evening. Let's drink that. Beautiful. And uh, maybe some drum. Drumming? Yeah, sounds good to me. Let's do it. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Now, it is getting late. I wonder, should we summon the people tonight? I don't know. Let's just do a th big three-hour session, see what happens. I don't expect to summon anybody, but uh, it's pretty dark. Oh, good. Thanks, buddy. I throw both of those items away. Throw away. All right, very good. Now, let's see here. So, if I rest a little bit, are we tired? Like sleepy, sleepy. He's feeling down a little bit, actually. That's weird. That's unfortunate. Um, let's rest for 15 minutes. I got an idea. I want to go outside. We are feeling nauseous. That's probably why he needs to rest. I'm not sure what's up with that. It's probably all the meat he's been eating. Yeah, shoot. That's my bad. You know, but uh, anyway, so what I want to do is I'm going to grab the knife real quick. And now we're going to go back to the drum. We're going to do call the enemy. It's time. Let's see what happens here. Okay, right there, you can see it. Yes, in that very spot staring at you. Oh, wait, this is the watcher. Oh, keep staring back. Keep staring back. Hold that stare. Oh, we just got an achievement. <gasps> we vomited. <laughs> Use the dagger. Here it is. Prepare for combat. Attack with spear might flail. Well, we gotta do it, right? We can't just flee. This is a cool card. Looks 3D-esque. New blueprint, Raft. You have proven yourself. Defeat the enemy. Survive 125 days. Nice. Victory. Duration one hour. The enemy has been defeated. Confirm. Whoa, what just rotted? Um, wow. So we did pretty good there. We discovered the raft, too, strangely enough. So that means that uh, we got ourselves a monkey here. It's pretty late at night, but that means that we can achieve victory and like get off the island, like final victory. Let's look here. Yeah, escape from the island. Island escape. Or make the island your home. Let's just say, to escape from the island and get back to civilization. Return to finish this adventure. Make sure to take enough supplies with you on your journey. Water containers and fiber cords to repair. Okay, interesting. Let's go back. And what about this one? Oh, look. We're almost done with this one. Reach maximum comfort to turn your house into your home. Once you're ready to call the island, a new home improvement will appear on it. Make sure to interact with it. To f oh, okay. Well, we're going for this one, basically. I mean, maybe the island escape will try for next run. I didn't really know that's what we were going for, but apparently it is. We're super close to it, too. That's awesome. Anyway, I think that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for joining me here today at the island. If you enjoy this content, consider hitting like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and I appreciate it. Also, check out the links I've got down below for Discord and Patreon. All right, guys, I will see you on the next one.